never going to be the same without him. I don't know how we're going to make it without him. And we were planning on getting married later this year. And he was a great guy. He would give you the shirt off his back. One by one, Kenneth Vineyard's sisters and fiance, through tears, stood in front of these microphones and talked about Kenneth Vineyard. They're remembering the good times spent together because thoughts of him not being here anymore are just too hard to fathom. He's always been my best friend and he's always been my protector. Um, he was so funny. I had the best time with him because he was always making me laugh. Um, he would do anything for me. He loved life, his family, um, his friends here and back home in Columbus, Georgia. Um, he loved Elvis, um, cracking jokes, making fun of me and Debbie was one of his favorite hobbies. Kenneth Vineyard died just how he lived his life, as a good citizen, rushing to the side of a perfect stranger as he lay bleeding on the ground. And a preliminary autopsy report, Sansone says, clearly shows Vineyard paid with his life. I am disappointed at the lack of comment by the Center Township officials. No one has offered an apology to this family. While Sansone can't reveal the name of the police officer he claims caused Vineyard's death, he says when it comes out, no one will be surprised. He says his office got confirmation from law enforcement within the community that this officer has had many problems in the past involving police misconduct. He called out the Center Township Police Department and the Beaver County District Attorney for not cooperating. He was a huge police supporter. He had numerous I can't tell you how many best friends that are police officers, and they are all upset and outraged. Sansone adds, after talking with eyewitnesses, they've come to learn that Vineyard wasn't shoved by the police officer. He was actually tackled. Sansone says he was thrown to the ground and the police officer landed on top of him. Now, I reached out to the Center uh, Township Police Department as well as the district attorney for comment uh, not too long ago, and I am waiting to hear back. Now, state police here are only saying that they are investigating. Reporting live tonight in Beaver County, Shelley Boards, KDKA News.